Alright, so as you can tell from the title of this video, this is gonna be more of a serious noted video, and of course, it is my opinion, but I feel like I'm speaking for most people when I'm talking about the topic, which the topic of this video is gonna be about anime adventures grinding. And if you've been playing anime adventures for a while, which I've been playing since the start, it, it, the grinding has progressively gotten more shitty and more cancerous and more dog shit and more fuckery than it, it's ever gotten. If you remember from the start, you know, from the start, we, we had these nice units that were getting evolved through stars. It had that Battle Cats feeling because that, that's where they got it from. That's where their roots were from. They got the Battle Cats idea of using stars to evolve them, which was a really, really unique and nice add on to the game because they could have built off of that. And once they moved into the materialistic things, which you get from the actual game, th that, that got to the point where it was still nice. It was still very nice. It was not all too crazy. Like some of them were a little bit grindy, but raids were, were a nice addition because it was a little unique mechanic besides the story mode. And then we got little materials from the shot from the raids of course if we move into units like gojo we got eyes from the actual story mode but that wasn't grinding you could macro it you could just play infinite normally you could play with your friends and you get gems exp and the eyes most of the time and you could evolve gojo into the point where he's at but once it got to what update six or what update was it the update six was the gojo update which wasn't that crazy or you could see jujutsu kaisen it was pretty nice just an infinite add-on and a nice little mechanic with gojo which he was very overpowered back then so it was pretty easy to get him through banner and to grind him so no, no complaint there but once it got to update 7 update 7 is where the legend stages came in now legend stages if you already didn't know they're like this little add-on from story mode where you have to complete all the stages which wasn't that hard you know completing all the stages was pretty easy there's the discord to help but this is where it got a little grindy see now you could tell the difference from clover kingdom which was the black clover one from the hollow invasion three story modes to six this was nuts now i said clover kingdom got pretty crazy but honestly i was kind of capping it was honestly really easy to get the materials for it and this is also the time where you also got relics which you know grinding for the last stage for those papers was a little difficult if you didn't have a team but like i said discord was there to help so getting pages or grinding it by yourself or even macroing it which i made tons of video on it was was not that hard macroing the elf kingdom was pretty easy so for anyone to catch up from starting from the game and getting like black clover units at update seven it was pretty it was fairly easy to catch up right nothing too crazy the time miracle time piece is still very good relic but after that point of elf kingdom where it got to the hollow invasion man this was one hell of a ride right? i tell you completing all this was pretty crazy because after the like affinities were being added you had to actually strategically think right it was it was this is the update that you needed to add early on into the game strategically think thinking because it was a tower defense game all right it, this was a good addition but all these stages, all these hard stages for people that don't really have good units that you really need when you fight the enemies themselves. So you're going to have to go into like a trait frenzy, buying Robux and all that, where which it kind of became pay to win at that point. But good thing they added Cake Hunt, but that doesn't make up for the fact that traits are still very hard to get. Still, that's getting off topic. The Hollow Invasion, the stages weren't the main issue. The main issue was getting to the final standoff, which if you already didn't know, that's where you got your main source of souls which you could awaken and fuse into the Aizen. It was a cool concept, but the thing is, Aizen had a total of three evolutions. Three evolutions. He has the Crystallize, he has the Awaken, and then he has the Unleashed, or whatever the hell they're called. And they had different percentages. First was like 12.5%. Next one was like 50 or 60%, and the other one was 100%. And in order to get that, I believe one Soul Orb was like 0 0.5, or like 1.1 or 0.5, something like that. And trying to grind up to 100% or even 60% normally is a grindy ass mindset that, that you would have to grind the whole week to even get Aizen which for me I didn't do that I, I sacrificed some mythic units because I had some extras and if you're not that lucky you're gonna be grinding for a while for that Aizen and since Aizen was so overpowered he had that huge AoE that could hit airs and stop units from getting to the bases he was really really good plus he was one of the only units that had like 200,000 plus max damage normally without a trait so he was really really sought out for but the grind there was insane now onto the next update it, it got even crazier with the jojo update um i don't know if even i don't even know if that's the next update but i'm pretty sure it's cape canaveral they did go back down to the three stages which was pretty nice but this is where you had to get discs and if you already didn't know getting these jojo discs were pretty annoying because they did vary they were rng based and some of them gave different discs than others and then they had the introduction of this bone thing where you had to go into the infinite and kill the bosses which was pretty easy you 
could macro it, not too hard there. But then the Poochie evolution, where you have to get Poochie from the banner, you have to get Dio's bone, and then you get the baby, and then you evolve Poochie, but you have to get like 10,000 kills on Poochie, and then you have to evolve him with the green baby, and then you realize they have to go to the legend stages to get six, six fragments of these Cape Canaveral legends things to craft a portal, which then you have to grind with other people or by yourself, and then you get the item guaranteed, and then you evolve Poochie, but then you need 15,000 kills to evolve Poochie. It, it was getting nuts. It was getting nuts. These evolution stages were definitely unique, a nice addition, but the, the, the way they handled it, the way you had to have these amounts of kills, these amounts of evolutions, it got out of hand, in my opinion. And even if you weren't going for Poochie, maybe you were going for maybe a Jotaro evolution or a Weather evolution, look at the things you need to evolve them. Look at this. Look at how many discs you need. Plus, they brought back the fruits. They never had fruits for the other evolutions after they moved on to the legend stages. But now that they brought it back, they, they made it even more grindy. So you had to add a challenge stage ever so often. So this was definitely, definitely getting out of hand. But then it didn't stop there. Now, what I will say is that after they got to the Christmas update, it wasn't that crazy. The Christmas update was a well-needed update because it was something you, you could pass up on. It was also a pretty nice cosmetic and um, upgrade update if you wanted to play it. And even if you didn't want to play it, you could still catch up with maybe the Black Clover or the Bleach update. But this is where they introduced S Death, which was a secret portal drop from the actual portals. And then, which I do have, by the way, pretty nice. I'll keep that for a while. But then they also introduced Dio, which was a nice add-on, like a 0.1% chance, just like Lucy. Not Lucy, Lelouch. But this was fairly similar to the Halloween update, which not, not a lot of people um complain about. So this was nice. But then this is where the passion of most people die off. Like th this was kind of like the final straw for most people. Getting these bullets for this new devil contract update, it, it feels like hell. All right. If you if you think about it, getting these ranks, it was, it was a cool addition. Like they're adding a lot of cool addition to the game that make it a little grindy, but still motivate people to play the game. But after they added these bullet drops, which up until what I'm on four right now, and they do give around like 18 to 20. If we do some quick maths right here, let's say you get 20. Let's be generous. You get 20 bullets for a tier four or rank four portal in the bullets or devil contracts area. And you need what? 1,000 of these bullets to even get one capsules out of the six units. Yeah, you need 1,000. Jeez. Okay. So then 1,000 divided by 20. That's around 50 games. 50 games of straight nonstop grinding. Or of course you can stop grinding, but if you want to get them as quick as possible that's 50 games for one unit and there's six of them and now if we multiply this by 10 minutes because that's the average length of one raid that's 500 minutes divide that by 60 and then that's eight hours of grinding for one unit at rank four now put this into the concept of you still have to get ranks to even get more bullets and sometimes you don't even win these games because there's brain dead players on discord that don't know what they're doing so this could sometimes turn into a 10 hour session trying to get one unit and of course if we multiply this eight hours by six that is 50 hours of grinding divide that by 24 that is two days straight of grinding and of course some people have the capacity to do this some people have the strength and stamina to do this but if most players are kids and if most players are students that actually go to school of course they can't grind all this and i know it's just it's just a decision for you to play the game but if you want to play the game you've been playing for a while now you want to catch up to all these broken units then of course you're gonna you're, you're gonna have to grind and if you add on the fact that these scalps are rng based and you don't get the one that you want to get and you can get duplicates it, it gets crazier from there so my opinion on this whole anime adventures grindy thing is that they should they should bring back the stars all right they should definitely add materialistic things that you could get from different like legend stages or different stages or different raids but not to the point where you have to grind it so many times that it gets too boring for most players or maybe keep it the way it is and they add more mechanics to get it like i always introduce in my future updates for anime adventures like maybe a lottery type thing or maybe a reward type deal when you level up and of course maybe it's just me being a little too tired of school and grinding the game at the same time but a lot of people have also been saying that it's a little grindy like for example Chuni, he was a really good anime adventures youtuber and he moved on to deep and he left because it got too grindy he explained it go check his video out maybe add star fruits maybe experiment with like bringing back the old system and see if people like that instead so that's just my opinion honestly i'm still gonna play the game of course but i don't know if i'm gonna grind it to the point where like with my other videos back then 
hand because this is kind of getting out of hand and I want to play other games. And as a YouTuber, of course, you're going to have to post multiple game videos and you want to catch up with other games. But that's just my rant. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. You don't have to agree with me. You can disagree with me. But I do think they should make some changes to the whole grindy system. Because in my opinion, the interest is losing. For me at least.